Hello, welcome to Market Bull. I'm Sarah Powell. Today I'm speaking with Paul Johnson from Power Metal Resources. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. Now, it's been a while since we spoke, but it seems that despite the difficult current market conditions, Power has remained very active. Please, can you give us an update on the latest developments? Yeah, sure. Well, there have been many and varied, as usual. We announced through our joint venture with the Victoria Goldfields the acquisition of a new licence covering the historic Berenga gold mine, which has produced hundreds of thousands of ounces at high grades. In the past, uh, that's very exciting for us. We've just announced the disposal of Kanye Resources back to joint venture partner Kavango. And more recently, the uh, continuation of our OTA North Lithium project in Quebec, and on the same day, an update from our uranium projects where we've done some technical work and we've found some really interesting findings. Well worth a read that particular announcement with geology in one project, Tate Hill, which is uh, similar to the Rossing uranium mine in Namibia. One question with regard to the challenging market conditions. Has this had an impact on the delivery for the spin out of the IPOs? The question is, I always put this back to the audience, when do you want to list an IPO? Is it uh, when the market's going great guns, you list it and then it falls off the cliff, the valuation drops, or do you want to list it into a recovery market when there's a good chance with positive news flow and a really great proposition, it will attract buyers on market and go up in price. I think we could be fortuitous on our timing. At the moment, we've got first class metals, which is imminent with regard to listing we trust, and also gold and metal resources, our package in Nevada, the USA, which is nearing the end of its process for pre-IPO preparations. And first development resources, it started now, the uh, tortuous weekly meetings uh, as we prepare with our advisors. And finally, New Ballarat Gold, where we've got some work to do on that, but we're still pushing ahead. So we think we could be very fortuitous on timing. As always, with so much going on across Power's portfolio of projects, what key milestones should investors be looking out for? Yeah, sure. Well, we'll be punching out news on the corporate activity and the uh, crystallization of value as it happens. We're focused on our exploration. We've got some big exploration projects. Uh, we had great results in the Malopo Farms Complex uh, project and Tarty Gold project. We want to take it to next stage exploration. Those are big potential discoveries in the making, we think. So we need to do that work. Uh, and that's basically more drilling. And then there'll be a lot more uh, news, we think, on the uranium side of the business, which uh, is growing and we're very excited about. Paul Johnson from Power Metal Resources, thank you so much for joining us on the Market Ball. Thanks, Sarah.